Hi ladies and gentlemen, Sean Davies, the Colorado Rainsman. As you see, I'm here with Dylan, uh, Sarah Welty's uh, little three-year-old Mustang that we picked up actually four weeks ago today. Um, Sarah's been doing a fantastic job working this horse. As you see, he saddles up just fine now. She's been round pinning him, doing a lot of groundwork. Uh, started quite a bit of uh, desensitizing with him and uh, just getting him used to things. So. He is right about at the place where he's ready to mount. So we're going to kind of see how he progresses here and see if she's going to get on him today or whether we're just going to get him. Sarah is not a colt starter. If this was a horse that I was starting, sure, I probably would have jumped on him about the first week. But that's not the point for Sarah. It's her goal to train this horse herself with coaching. And uh, I wanted her to gain her confidence with this horse and him with her. Now I'm gonna be in here just putting some, a few more exercises on him and just kind of getting an idea where he's at with some of this so we can see how to proceed. So Sarah's done some good work with the uh, just a little plastic bag getting him used to rubbing him. I now have you know the dreaded blue tarp and I've already kind of rubbed on him and introduced him to him and I like these just using a little plastic uh, tarp here to get them used to sound and put a little extra pressure on them because if, if he can handle this kind of stuff, you know, he can handle a leg getting thrown over him. So, you know, I get in here and if he moves off fine, I just keep the pressure on and he's doing real well, I just take that away. Now one of the things I've already done with him is just take this tarp and start tossing it up over his back. Getting in that off eye. This horse is not so worried about that offside eye like a lot of them will. And for a three-year-old, he really has a great mind. So I like them to just be able to handle this stuff no matter what. So that shows me he's pretty calm, you know, and he's pretty well prepared. Now he sees this thing partially up in the air and partially down on the ground, and that's when he moves. Okay, well let's work on that a little bit. I've got my night latch up on this saddle. This strap right here and I am going to see how he can handle this thing kind of partially on the ground and if I need to I can reach over and jerk this thing out but mostly right now I just want to see how he's going to move and whether he's going to freak out with it so I like to send him around with it, attach the saddle a little bit you can see he's pretty dang calm about this. It's no big deal. Good boy. You pick up a little trot. He's going, oh my god. He's going, that's scary. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't really care that much. Now it'll be on his outside when I change. Direction. We're going to have it on the outside to see how he, he figures that out. Good boy. Now he's got to pay attention to me here and that big scary object on the outside and see how he reacts. Good boy. He could pretty much care less, at least on that side. Hmm. Now this horse was a bucker, he'd already be up in the air. That's good enough for me. Back him up. Let him relax. Very good boy. Very good boy. Let's see how he is on this side of his body.
you see, he has a little initial reaction of speeding up, but now he's right back to his, you know, calm state of mind. Asking him to go forward. Pick up my rope, lift that rear end, and back him up. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. So now that will uh, give us the feeling of a leg on each side. Now I've got a colt starting competition coming up here July 19th and 20th. And I'll be doing a lot of this stuff over the course of like 45 minutes out get unhandled horses fixed up real quick. He doesn't seem to care. Let's just uh, back him up. Him over. Move him around. This little horse about ready to ride. <laughs> if he can handle this, he can handle somebody getting up on his back. Good bull white. And let's just disengage him. Not too bad. I know a lot of domestic horses that couldn't handle that that have been ridden for years. So this little guy is about ready to get on, but there's a couple more things I want to do just to test him. And I've got a big obstacle. I like to run them through, let them have a sensation of something up above them. We're going to come right back and I'll get that set up, so stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we've got our big scary car wash tarp, shredded tarp uh, hung up. And if he can overcome that obstacle, he can overcome just about anything. So, you know, as you saw, he can handle the tarp tied to the saddle pretty, pretty easily. So now I'm gonna come over and just introduce this thing to him. So, ideally, because he trusts us pretty good. Ideally, I just want him to follow me through this. And he got stuck right there when I disappeared. <laughs> I'm gonna let him think about it. I like to start off a little higher level. I can always go down. He's going, oh, that's pretty scary. I'm gonna ask him to take a step forward. There you go, good boy. I'm going to walk away a little bit. And that's where his curiosity, when I brought Conacher, the other three-year-old Mustang, up to it, it took him about two seconds to look at it and decide, I'm just going to run through that. <laughs> so this guy's going, ooh, that's scary. What will I do? I'm letting him kind of figure it out. So we can help him out now. my stick down. Let's just say I want him to come up here, see these things. I'm going to rub him with them. Let him see it. Rub him with it. He kind of sees, well, that's not going to kill me. Now that the wind's blowing that through, he'll probably come right through that piece of cake. I know so many domestic horses that 
this would just freak him out the first few times. So let's see if he'll come back through. Now we're going through a hole here since the wind's blowing a little bit. Come on. Now I'm going to reintroduce it to him over here. Just grab a couple of them. Let him see them. Oh, I know. Just let him rub on them. He's a baby. Oh my goodness, that's scary. Come on. And just walk right. Good boy. Good boy. That's scary stuff, he says. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come back. That's no big problem. Now the wind's slowing down. I want to see if he'll just come through it with me. Yeah. Put on the brakes. Good boy. Oh, he overcame that real well. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's very proud of himself. <laughs> Let him walk back through. I'm just going to look through it like I've done this a million times. Hope he's cutting you off. He said, <laughs> I'm going to blaze a new trail. <laughs> Come on, Junior. Let him think about it. Let him overcome it. There we go. Good boy. That's a beautiful thing. That was a beautiful thing, wasn't it? Okay. If he overcomes that, this horse is ready for Sarah just to climb up on and give you a nice leg yield tap pass and probably a spin. <laughs> right, Sarah? Yep. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to get set up for that just to see how he does with her stepping up in the stirrup and leaning across. and. You know, I may just have her throw her leg across. If we move him off, great. If I need to lead him, I'll do that. Because this isn't about what I can do with the horse. It's how Sarah's comfortable getting on his horse. That's the important thing. We want this to be a great experience for him. As you see, he overcomes stuff pretty quick. So we're going to get rid of the, the tarp and be right back with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to embark on Sarah's uh, dream and that is getting on a Mustang that she has tamed and trained for the first time. So we're going to go through our little checklist here. Now I'm going to be in here helping her and uh, I'm just going to have her get on this horse. And I'm going to have her bend him a little bit and touch him and if he moves, great. And I may help her get him to, to step off. So first thing, Get your mind right. Yep. All right. So uh, we couldn't have a better horse to start with, but we're going to get his mind right, get her mind right, calm, relaxed. This little horse loves this stuff. So basically, what I want you to do first is we're going to we're going to go ahead and tie this rein up or this lead rope up like a like a rein. Have it nice and relaxed right there. I'm going to bring this in. Oopsie. Oh, got him all excited now, right, as you're about to ride. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is just down on the ground, I want you to bend his head left and right. Just go ahead and get some lateral flexion. Very good. Rub him, rub him, rub him. Good. Just do that a couple times. Take it up to where your thigh would be. Right there. Good. Now see, don't go towards the horn. Go up here, put your angle it right back to where your thigh or your hip would be, which would be up in this direction. There you go. Good. 
All right, let's do the other side. It's very important that you can bend your horse. One of my checklist items is you've got to be able to bend that horse fluidly left and right before you get on it. Very good. And he's just soft as butter. Very willing. Okay. Very good. Now, did we check our cinch? Yep. Exactly again. All right. The last thing you want on your first ride is for your saddle to slip sideways. You don't want it so tight that it'll poke their eyeballs out. But we don't want it slipping when you step up. Okay? So basically, Dylan is ready to mount. Good boy. Get his feet right. So, I want you to step up in the stirrup and lean over and pet him. And then I want you to just relax. And then I want you to step down and walk away from him. Should so I be all on your own here. Should I have his head turned in? Yep. I want you to. Bend his head now. Get your rein in your mane. So reach up about halfway up there and just keep his. Get your foot in. Now put your ball of your foot there. Now bounce until you're straight. Just bounce there for a second. See how he's pulling on you? I want his head your way. Shorten your rein. Good. Bounce straight up. Put your hip over on the saddle. And soften him right there. Rub him with your off hand. Now a lot of times I'll go ahead and throw my leg right over here, but a lot of times uh, with these young horses, right here I want you to step down and just walk away. And rub him right there. Rub him first and then, and then just walk off. Walk around the pen and come back to the same spot. Yeah, he's only trying to catch his balance yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> absolutely wonderful. All right, absolutely wonderful. Now, I want you to have this night latch up. In fact, I'm going to shorten that up a little bit. That's way long. And I'm going to get it right here. Which you, you grab that instead of the horn. And we're going to start going off to the left. So you're going to hold out with your right hand and control the rein with your left hand. So you would bend him in if he got a little silly. So we're going to get him set up again right here. Okay, this time you're going to go ahead and get up. All right, so I want you to shorten that rein up. Shorten that rein way up, bend him, get your rein in that mane. Now, he's, I don't want him bent way, way much. Let's get him about right there. Shorten that rein. Good. Let him walk up. Well, that's fine. Now turn that stirrup, face the rear. Right hand on the horn. Bounce until you face me. You go straight up. Good. Go ahead and put your leg over. How do those stirrups feel? Are your knees okay. bent? Yep. Okay. Rub him. Rub him. Take a nice big exhale. All right. Let some line out on this rein. Let a little line out. Don't lock him up. Okay. There you go. Just rub him. Let him feel your weight. He's going, oh my goodness, what's going on here? Okay. So, just get your hand in that night latch. Relax it. Relax your arm. It's there if you need. You're going to get your weight back and you're going to bend your knees, put your feet, toes out. Okay? So I'm going to help you. We're going to get him moving. All right? But first, I want you to bend him left and right. All right? So let go of the night latch. Just bend his head left and right. Touch him with that leg. That's you got it right there. 
Good. Rub him right there. Rub him on that side. Now, lay your left leg against him and bend him this way. Rub him. Rub him. Rub him. Rub him. Now he's wanting to move his feet, so look where you want him to go. Okay. There you go. Just right hand and night back. Look back at his hip. Put your weight on your outside. Rub him with your left hand. I want you to look over your shoulder, sit up straight, look over your shoulder, put your weight slightly on your outside, tip his nose out. Now are you calm? Are you breathing? Yep. There you go. <laughs> Take your left leg back and tap his hip and point him around and get his feet moving. Right there. Rubby, rubby, rubby. Boy. Ah. Life is good, isn't it? Life is good. Now. Tap him with your left leg and get him to step over. Beautiful. Now just push your rein forward. Okay. That was good. We just want him to feel your weight up there. Good boy. Now that's pretty fantastic already. Yeah. Now, I just about always try to do a walk, trot, and canter my first ride and get it out of the way. Yeah. I don't want you to do anything that you're not comfortable with. Okay. I say if we try walk trot and I feel canner then. If he offers it, fine. Yeah. Okay. I want you to look off to your right. Yep. I want you to tip his nose that way. Bump your left leg against his shoulder. Now I want you to push your rein forward. And I'm gonna help you. Good boy. Rub him. Just rub him. Let him have the feeling of no rain on him. Now pick his left, pick his rein up and bend him to the left. Look off, look off, look off ahead. Good. Now I'm going to round pin you. Okay. Just keep his nose slightly bent into the inside. There you go. With no pressure on those reins, if you have to, you can slide that left hand down. You're doing fantastic. Look at this already. Yeah. That's it. Just hold that night latch if you have to. Hey. You're doing beautiful. Look at that. You just got a trot. He offered it. You took it. Absolutely wonderful. Proud, proud, proud of both of you. Now, how about a little bit of a canter? Put your feet down. Don't tighten up your legs. Look ahead of you. Are you comfortable? Okay. I'm going to ask him to canter now. Just let him go. Exhale. Exhale. And pet him. Pet him. Pet him. Pet him. I love it when a plan comes together. If he gives you forward like this, you take it. If he wants to canter, you take it. Now put your feet just down in those stirrups and don't let them come out. Let's get another canter. Ready? You ask him. Two kisses. You're doing fantastic. I could not do a better ride than this right here. Exhale. Exhale. Get him off that. Just tip his nose in and get him off the railing. Don't lean in. Shorten up. Exhale. You're doing great. Don't panic. Don't lean in. You're pushing him out. Do not drop your inside shoulder. There you go. Exhale. Exhale. Pick up your inside rein. Shorten it up and bend him to the inside. Look over your shoulder. Put your weight out. Bend him to a stop. Rub that horse. Rub that horse. Put your weight on the outside. And pet that horse right there. Now, when you come back down to earth from your heavenly spot, just rub him. Don't lock him up here. You're doing fantastic. Just, that's it. Just control his feet. Control his feet. There you go. Good. Okay. Okay. Just rub him. He's so proud of himself, he can't stand it. Licking and chewing. What a good little boy. Now, I, I would say 
these two horses were some of the best picks we ever could have had. And this guy is just fabulous. Good boy. Now, I want you to just relax and breathe and think. You feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Pick up your left rein. Look to your left. Bump him with your right leg. Because we've been teaching him to get off of pressure. Just bump him, bump him, bump him, bump him, bump him. That's it. Bump him. Put your weight back. There. See? Good. Now I want him heading off to your left. So once he bends, straighten him out. There you go. Now straighten him out right there. Drive him forward. Bend him to the right. Tap him forward. Now. Now that was a beautiful thing. So we're heading off to the right now. Yep, absolutely. Now, get that right because I want your fingers. There you go. The night latch is only there if you need it. I don't think you'll need it. So pick up those reins evenly. Up, oh, up, up, up. You saved it. Good job. Do not lean forward because he doesn't know how to balance with you yet. So you get your weight forward. Now I want you to put your feet a little further in. Don't pull him back. He's offering you, I want you to reach down and bend that nose slightly to the inside, easily. To use your fingertips and don't pull straight back. There you go. Good. Get control. Rub him. Good. That was good. Even the trot. I'd like to get a canner going this way too. So. Yeah, I think I forgot and I immediately went the hands when really I just need to leave hands out of the picture. I want you, they're only there to shape him. So you just shape him to the inside, but don't pull back right now. Pull him back is a buck sentence. Yeah. Means that's what's going to cause him to buck. If he feels that he cannot go forward, he'll go up. Yeah. Okay? So I'm going to help you move right now. I want you to look off. Now tap him with your leg. Good job. Good job. This is fantastic stuff. First ride on a three-year-old Mustang four weeks after picking him up from Canyon City, ladies and gentlemen. And Sarah's done it all herself. Pick up that right rein a little bit, get his nose off the rail. Now do not drop your right shoulder because that pushes him into that rail. So when you get going, put your weight slightly on your outside hip, just slightly. Now, ask him to trot. Push those reins forward. Do not clamp down. There you go. Get your weight slightly outside and back. Ask him to canter. E, don't pull back. You got it. There you go. Good girl. Instinct is a hard thing to break, but you did it. You're riding him. Look at that. Walk, trot, and canter. First ride. Now you don't have to worry about the canter because he's already done it. You get it all out of the way that first ride. Some horses you're not going to get it. He offers it. We're taking it. Beautiful job. Now exhale and sit. Transition him down. Show us what our round pinning is all about. Exhale. Don't pull. Exhale again. Just sit. Relax your legs. I see you gripping. Exhale. Pick up your inside rein. Little, little dad, I don't pull it. Just pick it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Don't pull. Bend his nose slightly to the inside and exhale. And walk. And walk. Keep him walking. Keep him walking. Keep him walking. Keep him walking. I don't want him just stopping every time. So I'm helping you here. Bend. Put your right leg bump him. Right leg bump him and now walk. Good. I don't want him transitioning down to a dead stop all the time. We're going to teach him a stop later. Now I want you to pick up your right rein and get a turn. So look over your shoulder, bend him, put your weight on the outside, put your right, your left leg on him. There you go. Now go forward. Bump with both legs and go forward. Good. You're going to do a series of turns here. That's it. Just rub him. Now, 
tip his nose. Look where you want to go first. There you go. Bump him. Bump him. Bump him. Fantastic. Let's get another turn or two. And then you know what we're going to do? We're going to call this one big successful ride and you're going to get off. Pick up that right rein. Tip his nose out. Look where you want to go. Put your weight on the outside. And turn him. Bump him with that left leg. Absolutely wonderful. Drive him forward. Bump him. Boy. Now, bump with your calves only to go forward. Pick up your left rein. Slide it down. Tip his nose out. Put your weight on the outside. Put your weight on the outside. Reach in on that rein. Just with that left hand. You see, you slowed him down. Go ahead and drive forward. That was good. Don't be hesitant. Don't go back with your heels. Take your calves and bump forward. Excellent. Look at me. Ride him in here. Bump him. Bump him. Bump him. Bump him. Bump him. Bump him. Good. Sit. Shorten up your left rein. Right to the main. Take your right foot out of the stirrup. Put your left hand on that horn. Ball of your foot and your left stirrup. Up and down. Now with your leg, just pick that, get up, take that leg off and over. Don't hesitate. Yay! <laughs> Good boy! Now rub that horse, because he deserves a, a big loving rub. Now that was one of the finest amateur, non-professional first rides on a little Mustang I've ever seen. Well, thank you. I that was very, <laughs> very, very good. You got everything we needed to accomplish this first ride. Good. Absolutely. Yay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this was uh, Dylan's first ride. Tell us how you feel. I feel very accomplished and very proud. You should feel very <laughs> proud. You got everything done there that I want to accomplish in a first ride with a young horse. You were on this horse for probably 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes, which for a first ride is fantastic. Walk, trot, and canter both ways. You picked him up and turned him around. You controlled his gates. You mm -hmm. sat down and relaxed beautifully. You did a beautiful job preparing this horse, which is everything for this work. Pre preparation. Now, we may have even over-prepared this horse. Conagher over there, the first time I worked with him, I knew I'd be on him pretty quick. Third time I worked with him, I saddled him and rode him, walk, trot, and canter. I do this on a regular basis. Sarah does not. This is one of her first, probably one of your first ever first rides, yeah? First ever first ride and she accomplished this. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna see some fantastic horses or fantastic things coming out of this horse. So, stay tuned. You're gonna see great stuff. Good job. <laughs>